Alright you guys, so now we're going to review Face Off. So this is the first time I've actually seen this movie completely all the way through. The f main time I saw this movie it was at the end where John Travolta comes through the door and he brings the boy in and that was it. That's my first impressions of Face Off. But now that I've seen the movie at all 2 hours of, and 18 minutes of its fucking awesome glory, I'm here to review this bitch. And this movie starts off with... um. John Travolta having a little grudge against Nicolas Cage for two reasons. He shot him, and he accidentally, well, I guess you could say accident, he says it's an accident, we say fuck that, and actually murders his son. Okay? So, Nicolas, I mean, John Travolta is having, really wants him badly. Okay? <laughs> so, he finally gets this man, but he, and then he, he puts him in a coma to where he won't be able to do nothing, right? But, the thing is, he has to go undercover as Nicolas Cage, because Nicolas Cage planted a bomb somewhere in L.A., and he has to go undercover as Cage to find out where the bomb is located. And the only way he can go do that is just to question Cage's right-hand man, who has, like, this schizophrenic, like, state, and he's in prison. So, he agrees, and, uh... That's a hell of a, 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 a procedure to do. Would I do it? Hell no. <laughs> Especially if the other, the evil side can actually wake up out of his coma and steal your face. No, 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 no. But the awesome thing is if the evil side of, of another person wakes up and steal your face and actually makes your boring life actually better that's fucking awesome I don't know why that's awesome that's fucking awesome but sleeping with your wife oh, that's that's fucked up okay <laughs> now the acting in this movie is fucking awesome Nicolas Cage by himself is fucking awesome John Travolta is good but this is Nicolas Cage's show right here and he fucking owns everything he's given in this movie, okay? Just superb in his acting. And John Travolta is another good lead. I love John Travolta. This is, what, John Travolta's second Ja Woo, John Woo film? A year before, he had Broken Arrow over Christian Slater. Another good film. Very underrated film. But Face Off. Action-packed all the way through. Loved it, man. Loved the interactions between these two. And then you just learn so much about their different lifestyles. Like, in, for instance, and in John Travolta's, well, Nicholas, that this is the confusing part a little bit. I want to say, I'm going to call him Cage Travolta. Okay, this is actually John Travolta's part, but he has Nicholas Cage's face on. You actually learn Nicholas Cage's character has a son by Gina Gershon, of all people, and she's hot. Gina Gershon. Yeah, so good to see her again. And on the flip side, on Travolta Cage, or Nicolas Cage dressed up as John Travolta's side, you learn that his life was not all that interesting until he makes it all that interesting. So John Travolta actually had a boring life. Nicolas Cage has a son he never knew about. So that was kind of interesting to see those two different aspects of their family side. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. Ja Wu did a great job directing this movie. Ugh, such a great film. I, I'm, it's, shames, it's, it's a shame that it took me almost 15 years? 15 years? Yeah, 15, 16 years almost to see this film. But, with that being said, Face Off gets my badass seal of approval without a question of a doubt or a shadow of a doubt I'm all backwards because this movie was just like there <laughs> you know it's all the switcheroo so basically my review is kind of switcheroo I know this ain't the best looking review out there but you know what reviewing a crazy crazy action film like this where the roles are switched like a Freaky Friday like style. Yeah, there we go. It's like a Freaky Friday style. Like a hard R-rated Freaky Friday style. And that's good.
<laughs> so, let me know what you guys think about Face Off down below. Did y'all like it? Did y'all have have y'all seen it yet? And if so, who is your favorite of this film? Mine's it's gotta be Nicolas Cage because he just owned it, man. <laughs> so let me know down below. And also, would you have that procedure done to get the work done, or and risk um, the bad guy of waking up and taking your face? Because <laughs> it ain't me. No. Alright, I'm out.